Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your 60-second breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. The CIA's headquarters is named after George H.W. Bush, as are Houston's largest airport and a Navy aircraft carrier. The EPA's headquarters is named after Bill Clinton. A Navy submarine is named after Jimmy Carter. A Washington, D.C. area airport, public transit station, and U.S. Customs and Border Patrol's headquarters are named after Ronald Reagan. Should similar honors be awarded to Donald Trump? Some Democrats say no. The No Glory for Hate Act would prevent any federal symbol, monument, statue, building, or land from being named after a president who has been impeached twice by the House of Representatives. Now, while Donald Trump's name is not mentioned specifically in the bill's text, there is only one president in American history who's ever been impeached twice by the House. The bill spells out several specific examples of names uh, of things on which uh, such a name couldn't appear, including military bases, highways, and streets. It was introduced in the House by California Democratic Representative Linda Sanchez. Now, you can already imagine what the bill's supporters say. You know, D Donald Trump was a terrible president. Things shouldn't be named after him. But the bill's opponents aren't all Trump acolytes. Even Trump's enemies may oppose this bill for a more ironic reason, preserving the potential to name negative things after Donald Trump. For example, after last week Tonight host John Oliver insulted the town of Danbury, Connecticut on his show, the town named their sewage treatment plant after him. For real. <laughs> Specifically, they named it the John Oliver Memorial Sewer Plant, even though John Oliver is still alive. <laughs> so my recommendation to any future president who gets impeached twice, if this bill passes, uh, make sure to get impeached a third time. That way this bill won't apply to you and stuff can still be named after you.